What's up guys? You mean to tell me you don't have a signature scent for summer? Don't worry about it. Six fragrances today that you guys have got to try. But I want to know what you guys are wearing too. So don't forget, leave a comment down below. What are your signature scents for this summer? If they're one of these, tell me how much you like them or you hate them. Either way, check these out. Our first up guys is the summer flanker of Alberto Maria's Aqua de Gio Profumo. This fragrance is a marine green fresh fragrance that you have to have in your collection this summer. It doesn't cost that much and women adore it. From the house of Giorgio Armani, it's Aqua de Gio Profondo. This is a citrusy aquatic fragrance, guys, that features mandarin orange in the opening, but it still has a touch of patchouli in the dry down. So you get a little bit of earthiness after the citrus. It is very masculine, guys. Nothing unisex about this fragrance. Women love it. And I think that's the reason why women do love it. It is green and it is blue at the same time. This is one of the most perfect signature scents. You can smell like this every day. It doesn't get cloying, it is perfect. In Texas, heat goes up to 100 degrees. Profondo is still working wonders. Still has a nice freshness to it. Opens up with that mandarin orange. You're gonna get a perfect citrusy blast and you're gonna be smelling good all day long. Has great performance, great projection, and the sillage is great. Once the wind hits you, you're gonna be dangerous. You guys check this out. Now this next one is a citrusy fruity fragrance. A little bit of freshness, but this one is what you wear when you want more fruitiness, a little bit more citrus in your fragrance for that day. This has great performance. It's very similar to Versace Man Au Fresh, but it has its own little twist in there. And hey, St. Kitts from Tommy Bahama gets the job done. What I get here, y'all, is starfruit orange with a twist of lime. That's what makes this one so good. It is effervescent. It actually will awaken the senses. If you were at the beach, going to the beach, or if you're going on a vacation, you want to try out St. Kitts. Now, Versace Mano Fresh is fresher than this one, so it's going to go into another category for me. It gives you that island vibe, and it is definitely appropriately named. Guys, if you have tried this fragrance, put it in the comments. If you have not, hey amen, blind by it. If you like citrusy fragrances that have a touch of freshness in there and a perfect dry down, last all day, give yourself six or seven sprays and you're good all day. You're gonna smell like vacation with this one. Gotta check this one out. This next one, guys, is the freshest of the bunch by far. Sometimes I wonder, the fragrances that are designed by women, if they get the most compliments and attract women the most, man, Every time I have a fragrance that attracts women just in abundance, I have to make sure I know who that, that perfumer is. And I'm serious, it seems like eight times out of 10, the perfumer is a woman. No exception here. In the house of Prada, it's Prada Lone Low. What you need to know about this one is that it's a powdery Neroli. Fresh clothes out of the laundry, guys. This fragrance right here is the perfect fragrance to wear if you're going on a picnic and you know that picnic is gonna move inside at some point. This is a flanker of the original Prada Lone, but this one has a little bit more of a youthful flair to it, guys. Still has that same awesome powdery dry down with that Neroli and the Iris, right? But the ginger up top just gives it an extra zing. I love this one for higher heat. Prada Lone, I'm wearing a little bit more when it's less humid, not as hot. But guys, when it really starts scorching, I pull out Prada Lone Low. This is a perfect first date fragrance. It's safe, but it's different. Soapy, clean, you're gonna smell like you just stepped out of a laundry room. But, with a sexy flair. Check this out, guys. From one of my favorite houses, Hermes. Listen, needs no introduction. The original, the OG, Terra de Hermes, EDT. This, guys, is an orange grapefruit with vetiver and a flint note to make it a little interesting. I believe that Terra Mez can be worn by any age. This is my signature scent. Has been my signature scent all year round 
for a long time. Second bottle class. Listen, this fragrance just, it just does everything perfectly for me. This fragrance, guys, it stands out from any other fragrance. It is mature, yet youthful, and it has a zing to it with that flint and with the grapefruit up there. You're gonna get something that's citrusy, but it's gonna have a little dark side to it. And a dry down that contains vetiver and woods, you're gonna get another blast of masculinity at the end, all right? So when it dries down and when it's completely dry on your skin and on your clothes, you're still gonna smell so good. The compliments I've gotten on this are un match if you don't have any hermes in your collection check out the original the edt because this one is going to bring you in to the whole group the best check it out are you wearing green apple this summer hey man you better consider this one from the house of parfums the marley it's green leaf what you need to know is green apple and mandarin this thing is cooked up, stepped up a notch with that bergamot up top. So it is citrusy, has that green apple in there. You get a lot of green apple, at least I do, all the way through to the dry down. But the green is citrusy, makes it a little different. There are other fragrances that do this, but to me, not as well as Parfums de Molly does green. It lasts all day on my skin. It is, dare I say, a beast mode of a high heat fragrance. Now beware, because this one is going to pull compliments. This one is going to have the women coming up to you and trying to bite your ass. High quality and definitely replaced Versace Arrows as my favorite green. Used to wear Versace Arrows back in the day, gave it away to my brother. This one, this green apple without the vanilla is the one that I'm wearing in summer right now. Smells so good, signature scent worthy. I can see somebody wearing this every day. Just be careful on the sprays because this thing is beast mode. You don't want to blast everybody out of the room because this will do it. A couple of sprays will do you. Get your skin. Do not spray your clothes on this. One. Try to get your skin only. Let your clothes fall on top of this fragrance. And I'm telling you, man, she's going to bite you. Whoa, 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 whoa. How are we going to do citruses and not talk about one of my favorite wicker bottles? Come on now. All right. It's the only wicker bottle I have. But this one right here does the trick. Perfect. Perfect signature scent for summer. Heat index goes all the way up. I can wear this in any hot weather. I don't, I don't care how hot it is. I don't care how humid it is. Artisan Pure from John Barbados is an easy reach. Orange, lemon, and bergamot laying on a bed of ginger. This one smells like the beach. Once again, just like St. Kitts, this is the perfect fragrance to get away. If you wanna feel like you're at the beach, you wanna smell like you're at the beach, this is the one. Artisan Pure is the perfect name for this one. I think it is very well blended, and guess what? Very, very cheap. This fragrance, I think you can get for $20 nowadays on Amazon, I'm not sure. My bottle is old, man, it's very old, but you can get this fragrance for a very, very good price. I think I may have paid $25, $30 for it. It's a steal, man. A perfect signature scent for summertime and grabs compliments. I've worn this one to the beach, just sitting on the sand, just chilling, just spraying my skin. You could take your shirt off. You're still gonna smell really good. Now, this is not beast mode. It does not last all day, but it is linear and it does not get cloying. So you can spray this like crazy. Spray it to the gods, man. And this will last on you a little bit longer. You're gonna be out the beach, man. If you're wearing out, you look good, but this is gonna have you smelling good, I'm telling you. But that is it, guys. Six signature fragrances that I am loving wearing this summer. A lot of these were from summer's past, but hey, if it works, it works. But I wanna know, what are you guys wearing this summer that has you smelling sexy when the temperatures goes up, baby? Hey man, when you guys leave up out of here, hit that like button and I wanna see you guys back in the house again. And until next time, keep smelling good. Uh, 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 uh.